GPT-4 is here, but does it mean that we might be out of a job soon and your company might be completely irrelevant a few months from now? Well, maybe, unless you're leveraging GPT-4 in your tool stack. In today's video, we're exploring GPT-4 launch partners, the companies who have gotten access on the technology the earliest, so that you can use this knowledge as an inspiration for your company or even build your own. The first one is the government of Iceland with a population of 370,000. So most of their people speak English and they're trying to resurrect the dying language. Now there are concerns that the language might be in danger due to digitalization and the advent of artificial intelligence. Iceland has partnered with OpenAI to help preserve its language and turn a defensive situation into an opportunity to leapfrog and innovate. Alman Romer leads the execution of a government-funded language technology program for Icelandic, emphasizing the integration of the language with international technology solutions. They build a service called Ask Island, which allows citizens to ask questions about public services. It is one thing if you cannot speak a dying language, and another if you cannot see. GPT-4 now has the ability to recognize images. Like, what makes this image funny? The second integration partner is called Be My Eyes, and it helps blind people to understand what's happening around them. They can snap a picture, and AI is going to tell them what's on the image. They can also be their fashion advisor, and even a gym partner. GPT-4 is so smart, it can generate an entire website based on an image of this guy's weird napkin drawing. And so there you go, going from hand-drawn, beautiful art to working website. But what about mine? Probably not. Because this feature is not available yet, but it is coming up soon. The next product is called Duolingo, and it turned a simple language learning platform into a personalized language tutor. And they have some exciting new features like the role play or AI conversation partner. It's a simple chatbot, but it feels like you're speaking to a real native speaker. And if you do not understand something, you can use the explain my answer feature. Speaking of learning, the next GPT-4 launch partner is Khan Academy. It's a nonprofit with a mission to provide free world-class education for any Anybody. Khan Academy has announced GPT-4 powered AI assistant called Conmigo. 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 That is. It's an AI virtual tutor for students and a classroom assistant for teachers. This way people can learn math, science, and humanities much faster and more in depth. By the way, when you want to learn something, what do you do? You Google it. Well, not anymore. So Microsoft has invested $10 billion into OpenAI. So you might as well bang it. Bing it. So what does Bing do exactly? Well, it gives you search results and cites the resources. So it's pretty much like ChatGPT, but white labeled for $10 billion. There's another way to do research scientifically. The next GPT-4 launch partner is called Illicit, and it allows you to search through over 200 million research papers and get their insights from that literature. But you know who really needs to get their research together? Banks, so that they do not collapse. Yes, Morgan Stanley is a GPT-4 partner, and they use the technology to help their analysts to focus on higher value tasks, like fetching coffee for their partners. Put that coffee down. Coffee's for closers only. Next up is the customer support company called Intercom. They've just released a new product called Finn that is built on top of OpenAI's GPT-4. Finn is designed to reduce hallucinations, disambiguate vague questions, and hand over trickier questions to support agents. By the way, when you hear hallucinations, this refers to when AI comes up with something that sounds right but is actually factually incorrect or is not based on real input or data. If you've used ChatGPT before, you probably know how good it is generating random facts that are not facts at all. So do not believe everything AI is telling you. There are also some ghost partners, meaning that they're on their website, but there is no information on the internet, such as Dropbox. So how exactly is Dropbox going to use GPT-4 in their product? Maybe organize my files? I know but that would be so cool, right? Also, OpenAI goes an extra mile to brag at how well they can do at those standardized school tests. So the big question every student is asking is, when is AI cheating assistant coming out? The final AI tool I want to show you is called Bardeen.ai. It's not a GPT-4 launch partner yet, but it can do some incredible things. You can create automations with natural language. For example, imagine you want to extract information from this product hunt page and get it added to Google Sheets. All you need to do is type it in the match 
magic box. And just like this, your automation was created. And soon Bardeen will support GPT-4 model to help you automate your manual work. And by the way, it's already out and you can download it by following the link in the description of this video. There are hundreds of pre-built AI automations for you to try out. Make sure to subscribe to this channel and I'm going to see you in the next video.